ocean. We made it to the beach. So finally the weather's starting to pick up a little bit now. Let's see, it's a glorious blue sunny day. Reasonably warm, I think it's about 20, 20, 22-ish, something like that. Oh, I thought it was 17. It's, it's a bit cooler <laughs> on the beach with the wind, it's lovely. But yeah, we arrived here last night with our friends, Rowan and Andrew, our van life friends. Yeah, They've got their dog, Millie. We made a little a friendship group on, on the road, which is yeah. nice. We met them in France and just been together ever since. We arrived here last night, it was quite dark. We had a little stroll down to the beach. The tide was in, wasn't it? So it was right up to right. the rocks. As you can see, it's very rocky. Very very, very patiently. Couldn't get down onto the beach last night and the dogs were very frustrated at the time. They're here now. Here's Bowie now. There he is. So we got back to the van and set up a little movie night for ourselves. These guys have got a projector, so we ended up getting out a little table and chairs, a projector screen on our van, and that was it. Watch it abroad. I think we're going to do another movie night tonight, are we? Yeah. We're going to catch up on King and It, name drop. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. I think yeah. Can't complain. We've got some sun finally, it's nice. And driving into northern Spain yesterday, the scenery is just stunning. Oh, it's unreal. It's absolutely amazing all the mountains sort of on your left and the beach was on your right like it was just we yeah, just didn't insane. expect it we expected spain to be sort of a brown barren land <laughs> which is really bad <laughs> no offense to spain <laughs> so green yeah and mountainous and now at the beach it just seems to have everything so surprised spain. by it all yeah it's amazing i'd move here yeah definitely i think we're gonna head back now and get some lunch and yeah, yeah. Peace out. campsite just to have a quick shower and things we're on top of a very big hill you can see the sea from here people are obviously going to get up considering the time marks <laughs> so that was really annoying so we came for a shower and it just <laughs> and it just absolutely blasted out freezing cold water literally baltic I mean you had to pay for it uh, it's only like a euro for five minutes but you'd expect the hot water to come out at least after like 20 30 seconds but it literally just didn't get warm at all like my money ran out before i didn't even feel any heat coming through i gave up after two minutes i don't know if we're going to find another campsite to stay for the night perhaps so we'll go to the park up that we've seen and then we'll either set up our outside shower yeah or we'll just do this and find another place tomorrow i reckon well, it's quite windy though isn't it for the outdoor shower is all i think it's meant to die down later on but it might be sheltered where we're going Slim chance, literally on the sea. No, but it might be in a little cove or something. I think the idea is to go and get the uh, the outdoor shower out. At least we can get warm water then. We know we get warm water. Doggy doggy. Another soggy beach doggy. <laughs> Two soggy doggies. It's so windy. So it's definitely a storm rolling in. It's very dark over there. I mean it looks so inviting. The colours of the water is amazing but I think uh, I think we might skip on the swim on this one. Yeah. yeah we've just given the dogs a good run around on the beach so uh, we're gonna go hunker down now, wait for the storm and eat some food. Sounds good to me. Morning. Morning everybody. Last night we had a bit of an interesting night, shall we say. It was the first time that we've been told to move on from a camp spot. Well, not necessarily move on from the camp spot. But it was just to move from where we were. So, it was just an awkward situation. So we got to about 11 o'clock last night. We were just getting into bed. Next thing, burp, burp, burp. 
<laughs> they conquer the horn outside. There was a very angry Spanish lady. Well, I saw it as angry. Cause yeah, I, I... I th she just came across just like snippy and like loud Spanish lady. Because I'd be very annoyed as well if I got well, drunk out at, at 11 o'clock. Yeah. So what happened was we were parked pretty much right in front of these cabins. Um, but I think in the daytime or when it's busy, it, they become little cafes. So there's cameras and everything. And apparently because we were parked quite close, kept triggering the light or the alarm or something. So it was going off the entire night. We thought it was triggered by the rain. Turns out we were just parked too close and we just didn't click on. <laughs> <laughs> so a very angry Spanish lady, could not speak a word of English, was trying to explain in a bit of a charades format of us setting the camera off and the light. So basically we moved and then I text the guy saying it's a, an angry Spanish lady coming around to you now. And Andrew <laughs> acknowledged her opened up the blinds but he needed to get dressed because obviously they were in bed and so he just shut the blinds back down and she banged again thinking he weren't bothered he weren't going to move <laughs> just like yeah fine and then just like ignore Real it <laughs> i'm gonna move in a minute yeah. <laughs> it was pitch black we couldn't see a thing there's no lights here so no. we were just kind of moving blind yeah so we went from a nice a nice camping spot with a nice view part right there we had a nice view really nice view of the sea the beach and everything and we woke up to some bins this morning. This was our view from the bedroom. Some lovely bins. I mean, talk about a room with a view. <laughs> okay. That's us. So, plan for the day is we had breakfast, we're just going to move on quite fast. Park up another beach spot. Hopefully, not to get beeped again and move. Yeah, I think the next drive is about an hour and a half. Yeah, about Something that. like that. So, we're not actually far from Portugal, which will be probably two or three days maybe. Yeah, I'd say Tuesday we'll be in Portugal. Cool. So all the beach, I'm going to decide to put a hole in my feet. Yeah. In the end, we didn't get the shower at the, uh, the campsite and because the water was absolutely perishing. So the plan was to have a shower here, but it's just too windy on the top of the hill, so it just wastes all our water. So I think the plan is to have showers tomorrow now, only because the weather's supposed to uh, get better from tomorrow onwards. It's a bit more warmer and less windy. We've been here for about two hours now, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. We've been on with uh, Andrew and Rowan. Just tiring the dogs out. At home, they have a, a nap in the afternoon. But because they're constantly doing things here, they don't seem to nap. Yeah. They seem tired all the time, so we're hopefully going to try and give them a good afternoon nap. Yeah. Rest of the day, chill out, have some dinner, and then crouch them down for a bit of a late night walk on the beach. Yeah, sounds sunset, good. Sunset time. Sounds good. Is that one of the husky dogs? Are we? You ready to go running? <laughs> Excited. Go in, Bowie. Ready? So this is like the first time I've ran in God knows how long. So we'll see how long this lasts before I sort of pass out. <laughs> I've got a bit of a 4x4 pulling me along. It's very helpful. Length number two of the beach. I think it's about a kilometre each way, so we've nearly done 2k. Starting to feel up like my lungs a little bit. So I haven't ran for I don't know how long. It's nice to get at it though. <laughs> No, honestly, I can't think of a more perfect scenery to do a run in. Here we are, length number three, third kilometre. A little better than the second one, to be honest. I think we had a little rest stop up that end. To help us get our breath back, regain ourselves. Very starting to finally tire. It's going good. Three or four. Run. I just 
just running and I saw a lot of like, little things hopping around. I had a close look at those sand flies. Out of breath trying to get Bowie back off the beach. Just in case if anything happens and he gets bitten, which will lead to a parasite infection. We'll have a good check in when we get back. And hopefully nothing's got him. Good boy. Keep running. Now it's starting to warm up a little bit. I think it's only right that we go for a swim. We, you. We. I've not got time. Any excuse. Just in this little uh, rock pool, it's like a little plunge pool. Very inviting, very tempting. So I think I'm gonna give in and have a have a swim, or I'll say a dip. Are you going in, Bowie? Are you going in? So inviting. Turquoisey waters. The toe test. <laughs> Are you gonna go in? You. Are you gonna go in? No. Why? Too cold. It's <laughs> no, it's too cold. I'm not going in. So inviting. I'll watch you go in. Thanks. Hey! hey. <laughs> I just had your budgies on. What do you think I had on? Like just your shorts. Gotta work on the tan. <laughs> God. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Find you in a Wim Hof. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Good boy, boy. Boy. Good boy. <laughs> Yay! <It's all> right. <laughs> cold. <laughs> That's cold for you, isn't it? Oh god! Good boy! Can you just follow me? Yeah. Oh good boy! You gonna go in again? Do some lengths. And a warm up. <laughs> trying to encourage him to get in the water and swim. So every time he does we make a real big fuss of him. Yeah. Don't we? Very. It said it was only meant to be two and a bit hours, but it's it turned into four somehow. It just felt like a long day. <laughs> Train of thought. But we're getting in, well, early-ish night. It's half ten already. But we're going to watch Married at First Sight because we've got a whole week to catch up. A lot to catch up on. So I think the plan for tomorrow is well, we're actually crossing the border into Portugal tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. I think we're going to take a few days just to unwind a little bit because everyone's a bit stressed from long drives we're not we're not really appreciating each spot are we just doing night tonight i mean there's been a few nights where we've stopped like two nights but yeah we need a i reckon like a three or four day park up just have a good chill out and regroup <laughs> if you know yeah matching pjs it's a christmas tradition but it's march so we're still wearing them who else has got a set of these ones Bowie. and sarah lucy if you're watching this sarah i hope you're wearing your pjs <laughs> <laughs> we're catching up on that so we'll yeah. see you tomorrow yeah. 